From keto to Atkins and paleo, the list of fad diets is endless. And one problem you may not know is many popular programs focus actually on weight loss, not fat loss. Now, weight loss refers to losing weight from fat, but also from muscle and water. Losing muscle can cause serious health conditions down the track. Our clinical nutritionist, Sarah DiLorenzo, joins us now. Morning, Sarah. You morning. always talk about yes, this. Yes, yes. And you're interested only in the yes, fat loss. Yes, absolutely. So the difference between weight loss, as you said, is losing losing fat, fluid and muscle as compared to uh, losing fat. So it's really important to understand that when we lose muscle mass, we actually increase our risk of things like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, dementia, unhealthy ageing, sarcopenia, which is advanced muscle loss, but also what we call from yo-yo dieting, osteosarcopenic obesity, basically muscle being filled with fat. And people actually become, they just become, can have falls and things mm. like that. But it's important to understand that our goal is to actually retain muscle, get rid of fat and be super hydrated. That's what we want to be doing when we're looking at losing weight properly. I feel like the answer to this is the Sarah Di Lorenzo <laughs> method, but what is the best diet for losing fat? The best diet for losing fat, first of all, is staying super hydrated because we metabolise all of our fats in our liver. Exercise is really important because we breathe out fat. That's the pathway for fat release, not through other pathways. But having food that's having our good lean proteins three times a day, just going easy on things like the pumpkin, the avocado, things like beetroot, carrot and corn, nuts for snacking and including a lot of high fibre vegetables in our diet like I've showcased there with the eggplant, the zucchini, the bok choy, mushrooms etc. So having a good six handfuls of those throughout the day is what, we've, what will put you into a ketogenic state without doing the keto diet. Okay, you've put together what should look like a, a day following yes. your program yeah. in particular. Talk us through this. Okay, you'd start your day with something like a, a smoothie or some eggs, moving on to mid-morning, a little handful of almonds, just some nuts just to keep you going through with the good fats. As well, just having something like an avocado chicken salad, and for dinner you would be having some salmon with a little... <laughs> yeah, Matt's got... <laughs> you're having flashbacks. Oh, I'm having um, flashbacks, some corn. Yeah. Um, In the afternoon, or for, you'd be having some pistachios, and you've got half a cup of berries throughout your day. And I recommend to all my patients to be having some fruit, just half a cup of berries for the antioxidant support, but as well because they're very high in fibre, low in calorie and carbohydrate. That's a full day on that It's podium. a full day's food mm. for, for weight loss. Remembering you're doing this for a period of time till you get to your goal, your healthy goal. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> I'm just amazed you say that doesn't look like, uh, that looks like too much food. No, no. It, it looks just, like an looks... entree. Okay, so snacking. Snacking. No, this is the whole thing where people go wrong and where people fail in weight loss programs is because they do things like they have a count of, they have, um, they do stress eating, they are emotional eating, but they're also <laughs> stress, they're all guilty, <laughs> guilty, we're, okay. guilty. We're both nodding. Stress, yeah. and it's, it's snacking and picking, but it's also not being accountable. So some great snacks to look at to help you along the way would be things like just having an egg, having some celery with some nut butter, a little bit of cheese as a snack. I'll, I've just done capsicum and I've halved it and I've put a little bit of tuna in there, some nut butter with some apple as well as some, uh, some yogurt with berries and carrots and hummus. And these are all all things that you can have readily available in your pantry yeah. and your fridge to make these snacks because the key to success is preparation. What do your snack prone clients say to you when you say just have a capsicum with some tuna in it? <laughs> Well, I could everyone, imagine there'd be some expletives if you tried that on me, because I have a different varietal of snack. Not everyone is as difficult and high maintenance. No, as no I am were. right at the top of the Sarah's, list. Yeah. Sarah's been through the pain and the agony that she's so got she's to still where you she's are still today. Recovering. I'm looking at you, are still at your goal weight, and it's been months now. You're yeah. at your goal weight well, in December. Oh, there's yeah. a reason my friends are calling me yo-yo, but I'm, oh, I'm you trying are not hard. Yo-yo, you're, you're doing really well. You're in maintenance now, and it's fantastic. You look great. Thank, Thank you, Sarah. Sarah. Thank you. As always.